Hi again and welcome to this next video in the Malaya Chain of Command uh, 1942 campaign that I've been playing. This is the third scenario. Uh, I've been using the At the Sharp End um, campaign rules from the Two Fat Lardies for Chain of Command. There you go, there's all your product placement that you need. Uh, this is the third scenario. He's seen the Australians get absolutely hammered in the second scenario and they've now had to force push themselves back. They lost, ooh, it was almost half of their number, I think about 16 figures in total, out of a, a starting number of about 30 odd. So they've lost quite a lot. They've had a couple of replacements come back through, but they've been forced back to their next position, which is this uh, little uh, road point uh, in the centre of the jungle here. The Japanese have basically got to get at least one team off this edge of the board to win the game. It's pretty simple for them and the Australian uh, defence line is going to be very thin. So what I'll do is I'll show you uh, the two different forces that are facing each other and uh, we'll crack on with the game. So these are the forces. We've got the Japanese up here and then the Australians are in here as well. Uh, the Japanese they're commanded by Lieutenant uh, Noda Takura and also his second in command, the Sergeant Yohiro uh, Neonobo. These are these two guys here. These were a fresh platoon in the previous game because the, uh, the first platoon got absolutely hammered, so they were replaced. Because they only lost five men in total, uh, no, sorry, they only lost four, yes, five men in total, uh, but they'd managed to get one to come back, so they actually lost four. So they're down by four rifles. So basically I've taken one rifle out of each of these sections, these uh, three rifle sections, and then also one uh, crewman out of the knee mortar as well. So they've had a bit of a reorganisation to relative, keep in relative strength. They've also, as part of their, uh, their um, support options, they paid for a Time 95 Hago tank. Uh, that was they rolled a three for that, so they were able to get that in. Uh, so that's going to cause a few problems for the Australians, who, on the other hand, uh, is basically this set up at this point. They were originally in three sections, but because of losses, I've reorganised them into two sections because they also lost a junior leader as well. So they have basically two rifle sections. Uh, this one has one LMG. Uh, and some crew and then also it has an SMG as well attached to it and then this one uh, we had an extra LMG left over so I've put that into there to give this a real bit of firepower in this section so there's two LMGs and an SMG as well so that's quite a good defensive um, defensive section really and then of course we've got the boys anti-tank rifle and the two inch mortar as well they also got half the amount of support that the Japanese did rounded down so the Japanese got three the Australians got one, so they've paid for a medical orderly just in case their one of their leaders may get hit at some point in the game. So that's what's voicing each other. Um, I, I don't think it's going to go great for the Australians in this one, but we'll we'll see what happens. You never know the, the look of the dice and all that. And let's uh, let's crack on with the game itself. Just quickly to give you an overview of the table, we've got the two roads coming in here and here meeting in the centre bit here. The Australians are coming off from this side, the Japanese on that side. Because the Japanese are actually attacking, they're going to get a couple of extra turns to move forward. Uh, there's a couple of little swampy bits here and there, but it's mostly jungle. Uh, there's a little range of hills on the uh, far side of the thing, but apart from that it's jungle. So there's going to be a lot of movement in jungle and probably a lot of close quarter fighting.
so that's the patrol phase over. Just to give you a quick overview, the Japanese are jungle fighters, so they can move up to 14 inches, and they also are attacking, so they were able to move up to six, because they rolled for it, uh, up to six extra moves at the start of the patrol phase. So what they've done is use that there to their advantage, and they've absolutely shoved themselves as far forward as possible. And also because they're jungle fighters, they can jump off from these jump off points up to nine inches. So they're already uh, at least halfway across the table with their infantry. Whereas the Australians, they really suffered in the patrol phase here. And they are quite close to the back of this table. They've got a couple of points here. They've got to stop the Japanese coming off. This, one, this point over here on the Australian's right flank is going to be an absolute threat because all the Japanese need to do is get one team on the baseline of the Australians and they win the game. So it's a pretty pretty high stakes one for the Australians point of view. It doesn't really matter how many uh, the Japanese how many casualties the Japanese give the Australians. Also I have also rolled for the force morale of both as well and <laughs> Unfortunately, again for the Australians, the Japanese have really come out on high on this. They've got 11 for this one. Obviously, they geared up by the the, uh, the the victory in the last game, and the Australians are down on nine. So it's it's already uh, really pitted against the Australians. But let's crack on with this game and let's see what happens in the ensuing fight. Right, so let's get straight into it. The Japanese take the first turn, so they've got two sixes. Oh, that means that they retain the the uh, turn and they've got three twos which is three sections so they're going to be bringing those on so let's get let's get that on this could be a very a very quick game so the Japanese have brought on their three sections they've brought one right down here in the swamps almost at the edge of the board straight away they've got another one here in the center to threaten the central line and they've also brought on their third and final one here on the on their right flank to push down uh, against the Australian jumping off points over there uh, to try and close those down as well. So that's where we're at at the moment. As I said, this may be a very quick game given that. Uh, but let's see how we do. It's the Japanese turn again. Right, let's see what the second Japanese turn brings. Okay, we've got a six, which is nothing. Uh, let's just get that out so we got rid of it. So we've got. A junior lead, sorry, a, a, sec, uh, a team, uh, two sections, and a junior leader. Well, again, that's that's not great for the uh, for the Australians because that means that some Japanese are going to be moving and are moving towards their table edge. So let's have a look, see what they do. So fate is smiling a little bit on the Australians at least because they managed to. Uh, well, the, Australia, the the Japanese have slowed because they're in jungle. They've only advanced one inch. These guys have only advanced two inch, and these ones have only advanced four inch because of the terrain that they're in. So they haven't actually been able to close down and finish the game straight away. So it's over to the Australians' turn. So the Australians command roll. So they've got five, so they have one chain of command points at least. And they have uh, two twos, two ones with that five so we could convert that into two junior leaders and bring on their sections to at least start giving them some hammer i think that's probably the best thing we can do at this point so we'll convert this into a three and convert this into a three as well the australians have brought on their heavy hitting team over here um, with the two lmgs to try to destroy this japanese unit as he's advancing across the marshes the japanese i'm going to put them in light cover uh, but they are in close range for most of the weapons, apart from the SMG. So we'll do the uh, the rifles and the S uh, the LMGs. So I've gathered up the dice together there. So they're looking at four, fives, and sixes to hit, first of all. Let's see what we have in here. Get rid of all the misses. Uh, this is looking relatively healthy. This This really needs to count. So what we hit there, we hit two, four, seven hits. Okay, so if we can at least stop them in the tracks with shock, it's going to help a little bit and just you know be, give the Australians another chance. They've also got their SMG, 
the SMG fires 2d6. Uh, this is hitting on a 5 or a 6. It can re-roll up to half of its firepower, uh, so it can re-roll one dice if one or both miss. So let's have a look. So one has missed, so we'll chuck that in. So that's eight hits now. Re-roll that one. So that's actually nine hits. And as I say, these are in light cover. So four, five is shock. Six is a kill. So let's just see what we get out of this. Can we do a dice before I drop those there? Let's have a look. Uh, so that's one kill and two shock. Not as good as it could have been, really. Uh, let's just see if the junior leader is hit. On a one, he is. Uh, no, he's not, so it's just one of the rifles. So, not as good as it could have been, but at least they've given some shocks. So that means they will be slower in their next turn. And the other Australian junior leader brought on his team over here on the edge of the jungle, firing across at the Japanese there. They're in jungle, so they're going to be in heavy cover. Uh, and the Australians actually have got the same amount of uh, dice as the LMG team over there. So I split the uh, sections pretty well for firepower. So it's basically the same again. Roll these dice, then we've got the uh, LMG, uh, SMG as well. But these are hitting on four, fives and sixes. So let's remove the misses. Right, so that's about the same. That was a five. So let's see, we've got six hits there. And then we go on to the SMG. So this is hitting on a five or a six. So that's one hit. Again, the Australians can re-roll because they've got heavy firepower with the SMG. So that's a, no, that's a miss. It's only five or a six. So that's seven hits on that section. So let's see what happens there. So this time it's five is a uh, is shock, six is a kill. So let's see what we've got. Oh, three kills. Uh, that is really what they wanted on the other team, but never mind. They've got it on this team, so that's three killed. So I'll just remove three riflemen there. So the Australians have added their localised and minor success, but let's see what the Japanese can do this time. They have got... Uh, five, so that's one chain of command points. Not that they'll probably need that in this game, I don't think. Uh, a four is their senior commander. A two and two junior commanders. So they have a section and two junior commanders. So that's pretty perfect again for their needs. So let's get those done and brought on. So the Japanese route used their section roll to move these guys forward, but they only managed to move forward another inch, because again they're in the jungle. They've used their junior leader over here, this is their junior leader roll, and he's directing them to fire at the Australians that are in the jungle over here. So these are their dice, we're looking at four fives and sixes to hit, and the Australians are in heavy cover. So quite a few hits in there. Let's see, once that is five hits, so they're in heavy cover. Six is a kill, five is shock. The, they're trying to reduce the Australian numbers for the future turns in this one rather than pushing these forward, so that's why they're firing at this point. So let's have a look. Uh, that is nothing, no effect whatsoever. And then, meanwhile, on this side of the board, they've given their second junior leader dice to this guy here, he's reducing shock by one. Because he only has a command initiative of two, so he's brought that down to one. And his second action is to get them to move, and they're going to be moving at the double. Uh, they're minusing one because they're in marsh. They're also minusing another one from each dice, so they're minusing two uh, because of the shock. They're minusing two off their dice, so trying to get these to the edge of the table to actually finish this game now. So we'll, let's see if that works. So two off each, so that's two, and that's the one, so they're only three inch forward. They're still in that line of fire, and they're not on the table edge yet. Oh, this is, getting, this is going to be nasty, because if the uh, Australians keep causing hits on them, it may stop them in their tracks, but at least they're pushing forward to get past that Australian stop line. Already this is a tense game, so this is, let's see what the Australians can do. Uh, to try to stop this Japanese advance. So six on its own will do nothing. So they've got senior commander, senior commander, and two sections. 
Okay, so that's not too bad actually because they can bring on their senior commanders to command those sections anyway and get them to fire again. So I think we'll probably do that and uh, let's get them on the table and get some firing done. So Bluey Thompson has arrived. He's taken personal command of this section and he's getting them to fire again at the Japanese in the jungle over there. Trying to cause more hits on them and slow their advance uh, before they hit the flank of the other section over there. So let's have a look at this. They're looking for four, fives and sixes to hit. So we'll remove all our misses. And that's quite a few hits. So that's two, four, six, eight hits. We've also got that SMG. Uh, so that's firing on fives and sixes. So that's two threes. So that's a miss. So they get to reroll one. Uh, four is a miss as well because of the range. But it's still a healthy number of hits. Six, seven, eight. But they need sixes to kill. They're in heavy cover, so five is shock. So let's just see what. Another three kills and no shock. My god, they're making mincemeat out of these Japanese here. Uh, so that's taken out three more of them there. And Lieutenant Asquith has taken control of this section. And they're again going to be pouring fire into the Japanese here as they're crossing these marshes. So they're still in light cover. Uh, but let's see how many hits we get on them. Four, five, sixes. So we're taking out the misses. Okay, that's a little bit healthier than it was before. So that's that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we've also got that SMG as well. So two sixes, so that's another two hits. So that is actually nine hits on the Japanese. These ones are now in light cover. So a six is a kill. 4-5 is shock on these ones. Let's just see what happens to them. And that is 2 shock. This is really where they needed it, the Australians. Uh, so they reduced them. They've taken their shock up to 3. And there's no kills. I know what I've done. I forgot to roll for the uh, Japanese junior leader in the previous section. So let's just quickly do that while I'm here. Three or less, and he was hit. He was hit. Uh, one or two, he is lightly wounded. No, he's killed outright, sorry. Uh, five or six, he's heavily wounded. Otherwise, he's just out for the turn. So he's killed outright, actually. So that's going to be a bad thing to happen on the Japan for the Japanese. Uh, the Japanese do get a minus one because they've got high morale uh, anyway because of this scenario. Uh, but... A junior leader killed is four, five, six. It's minus two points. Otherwise, it's minus one point. Five becomes four, so they've got two points off their force morale as well, and they lost the junior leader. So it's back to the Japanese turn. They have taken some absolute hammer in that last turn. Uh, their centre section is down by six figures. Uh, the other one is is really shocked and he's going to be taking hits as well. But let's see if they can recover and if they can push on and. Try and finish this game this turn. I've been saying that for the last couple of turns. Right, so a six will do nothing. Their five is a chain of command. Points, so that's up two. And they have a three, a two, and a one. So we can uh, do something with that. So they've got a team, a section, and a junior leader. Let's just have a think about what they want to do with these. So for their first junior leader... The Japanese, they combine their dice into two junior leaders. So the first one is this guy over here. He's advanced these uh, these infantry by two inches through the jungle. And then they're going to fire at the Australians. Firing in heavy cover at them. Uh, and they've moved. So they've actually halved their dice. And they're now only on eight dice instead of their 16 they did have. So let's just see. Uh, four, five, six of the hits. We'll go from there. And... That is five hits. That's not too bad out of eight dice. And six is kills, five is shock. Let's see what happens. Right, we've got two kills, no shock. We've got a junior leader and a senior leader in there. So let's have a look, see if either of those two are hit. So the junior leader, first of all, one or a two. No, the senior leader, uh, one or a two. He is hit. So again, a one. He's killed. Four, he's wounded. No, he's been lightly wounded. So he has his uh, amount of command initiatives reduced by one. So he's down to two now. So I'll just put a wound marker on him. 
and we'll move on to the next fight, uh, next next bit that we're doing with the Japanese. And on this side, the Japanese again gave their second junior leader to the junior leader over here. So that's that guy. Just get rid of that. Just remind me. And they have shock, so he's going to reduce that. Uh, for one activation, he's going to reduce that down to two, and then they are going to again press on. This time they have got two shock, and they're in the marshes, so they're going to they're taking three off each of these dice for movement. But let's just check; they need three or above to finish the game at this point. So this is pretty crucial. So let's have a look, see where we're at. So three off, bam, gone. That's disappeared, and this one five goes down to two, so they're actually almost on that edge of the table. So it looks like the Australians will probably get at least one more round of firing into them before they well, they might not even make it anyway after that. Uh, but there they are, they're literally on the table edge at this point. Okay, back to the Australians. This <laughs> I keep saying it, this might be their last turn in the game. Uh, to try and cause as many Japanese casualties as possible. Well, let's see what happens. Three. So, three sixes. Uh, sorry, I just tipped that over. That was three, uh, six. So they've got three sixes. So they've got a four senior commander, a section, and three sixes. So three sixes means that the turn has ended, but the Australians get a second turn after this. Uh, it's not great because they've only rolled a senior commander and a section. They don't uh, a team, so they, they they could fire with one of their LMGs on the other on the other team. But uh, at least they've got their junior commander, their senior commander, who can do something against the Japanese who are trying to get off the table edge. So let's first of all they use their section here, uh, their their team here with the LMG team. They're just going to fire at the Japanese in the jungle there. Four, five, six as a hits. So that's three hits, and six is a kills, five are shock. They don't have a junior leader, so that's another kill and one shock. So we'll take off that rifleman there, and then they also have a shock on that team as well. So actually that's not been a bad result. And then over here we've got Lieutenant Asquith, is again directing the fire against the Japanese as they're trying to get off that table edge. Uh, so they've got, again, a heavy, a hefty amount of firepower here. Uh, four, five, six is a hit on these. Let's see how many do. And that was a three, just get rid of that one. There we are, once. So that is quite a few hits. So we've got two, four, six, eight. We've also got their SMG. He's firing on fives and sixes. So that's one hit. He can re roll that. That was a five or a four. That was a hit anyway. So let's just re roll that. And that's a miss. So we've now got. Uh, nine hits on the Japanese uh, in light cover because they're still in those marshes. So we're talking six of the kills, five is shock. Uh, so one kill and two more shock. So that's put them up to four. They've still got a junior leader in there. So let's just see if their junior leader is hit. He's hit on a one. Uh, yes, he is. A one is killed outright. Uh, no, he's not. A four with the hit on a junior leader means he has taken one wound and his initiative is down now. So the Australians retain control. Two sixes. They've retained control of the game again. Wow. Uh, this might not go the Japanese way. So we've got a four, so that is a senior leader, uh, a two and a one, so they could convert that into a junior leader as well. Right, let's um, crack on with that. This defence is really stiffening. I thought this game would be over by now, but it doesn't look like it just yet. Right, so back to the Australians again then. They're using their junior leader over here to fire at the Japanese again in that jungle, just trying to destroy as many as possible and bring down their morale if they can. So we're uh, four, fives and sixes in this case. So we'll just take out our misses. So that's... Let's have a look. That's... Seven hits, then they've got their SMG, he's rolling his, uh, and that's one hit, so he's rolling again, five or six. Uh, so that's another hit as well, so that's another uh, nine hits on the remaining six Japanese in that bit of jungle. They're in heavy cover, so 
Six is a kill, five is shock. These have now taken another four shock. So now let's put them up to five. It's not enough to uh, pin them yet because they've still got six figures in that unit. But they're teetering on the brink. And again on this side of the table we've got the Lieutenant blasting away. He's getting his guys again to fire with the two LMGs and his rifleman and the SMG. So let's see what we've got. Four, five, six as a hit here. Ooh, this is not looking great straight away. Lots of uh, ones and threes to be there. So, well, hang on. No, it's quite a few hits. So that's one, two, four, six, eight hits. I spoke too soon. Then we've got their SMG as well. Same again, he's on five or six though this time, so one hit, he can re-roll one, uh, misses. So that's nine hits again. These Japanese are in light cover. Six is kills, four or five shock. So one kill and two shock. So they're now up on six shock. That's going to be hard to get them to actually move now because they're going to be taking six inches off each of their movements. Uh, we've got one kill as well, so let's see if that's on their junior leader. Uh, no, it's not, so it's just on one of the other bog standard soldiers. Right, the Australians retain the phase, so let's see what they get again. Oh, that's two senior leaders. Uh, another chain of command points, so that takes them up to two now. Uh, a, a team. Two senior leaders and a junior leader as well. So that's actually a pretty good spread for them. Senior leader, although he's wounded, he's still able to command and make them fire at the Japanese there. So let's see if we can do that. So four, five, six is a hit for the first round of firing. And let's see what we've got. Oh, that's only four hits this time. And we've got the two SMGs, well, the SMG on its own, should I say. So that's a six. Sorry, I knocked one of those, so I'm just going to re roll that. So we've already got four hits. I wasn't sure which one I'd knocked, so let's have a look. So that's one hit. He can re roll. No, so they've actually only hit five this time. So not as good as previously. <clears throat> six is a kills, five is shock. So a kill and a shock. So they're now up to six. And that means that they are pinned because they've only got five figures in there and they've taken six shock. Right over here uh, we've got the lieutenant again directing fire at the Japanese here in the in the marshes really trying to break them and they're doing a pretty good job of it as well to be honest. The Japanese might have to rethink their tactics at this point but let's just see what happens. Uh, four five sixes are hits. Good god that is a lot. That's exactly what they've been waiting for. Uh, I say it's a lot. Well, it's nine hits, uh, so it's pretty much a similar number to what they normally do. It just looked like a lot. So that's all them hit. Let's look at the SMG. Uh, again, fives and sixes. He can re-roll one of these dice, so he will. Yes, he has. So that's actually ten hits in total on those Japanese there. Yeah, ten hits. So, again, six is a kills, five is shock. Oh, that's pretty disappointing, to be honest. Uh, that's two shock, uh, which isn't enough to yet break them, but they do. They're going to have a hard job of reducing that at the moment. They need their senior commander on to do some, to actually get some stuff coming down there. Anyway, I'll get that shock on, and then uh, we'll crack on. Okay, at this point, the Japanese have got a couple of choices. Their centre has literally disappeared. Uh, they could probably bring on the tank... That might do something, uh, on or force their way on the right flank to try to get off the board. But again, they're stuck in jungle, so it's, it's not going to be a great chance. Because I don't think that other unit is going to get to move this turn. But let's have a look at anyway, see where we're at. They do retain the phase, so that's pretty good. Uh, they can bring on a senior commander with a four, and they've got a three and a, one, a two and a one. So they could turn that into a junior commander and get somebody else moving, or even bring on the tank with that because that would be pretty unstoppable at this point I think so it might be worthwhile just getting that on so for this Japanese turn they brought on their armour uh, with the junior leader he's come on at the time 95 
uh, with an, that's going to attempt to get off the table edge. Uh, meanwhile, Sergeant uh, Naburo Hal has arrived to try to sort out this mess that's going on in the marshes to see if he can actually get them to move forward as well. So that's the Japanese turn, but they return, retain the furries, so let's see what they do with their next command roll. Well, let's see what they got. They have two sixes, so they retain the phase at least. So that's two uh, fives gives them another two command chain of command points, and then they have one which is a team which is relatively useless to be perfectly honest. Uh, they don't have any teams within their sections. This is a junior leader, not a team. So that's them done for that turn, really. We can go straight on to their next phase because they retain it. So let's just roll that. So this time we've got another chain of command points, but the turn goes to the Australians after this, so they're now on five. This time we've got two, two, a senior leader, uh, and a one as well, so we can convert that straight away into a three for the tank. We'll give the senior leader over here to the sergeant, and then finally I think the section on the other side of the table. So I'll get those moving and get some stuff happening. Right, so the Japanese using their junior leader push forward the tank. It managed to get about nine inches forward, so it's not it's going flat out, but <laughs> not particularly fast. And then their sergeant tried to get through the jungle. He's got stuck over here, so basically he's desperately trying to get towards those guys over there. But that's the end of the Japanese turn. Not much they could do, so it's back to the Australians. Right, the Australians. Let's see what more damage they can do at this point. Bloody, okay, right, we've got a team, four sixes. That is the end of the turn and a random event. They also get a full chain of command point dice, should I say. So they've now got that. They can use that to do something. And their random event. Let's see what happens. It's a three, which is a building fire. So a part of the jungle has caught fire. Uh, probably somebody cooking up their dinner or they've knocked over their camp stove. Uh, in the centre of the table... The wind is blowing that direction, so that's just going to be added to each turn, at the end of each turn. So uh, it's going to block line of sight for anybody looking through it, but it's not affecting anybody at the moment. Now the Australians, with their next turn, are retaining the phase again. Uh, this time they have a junior and a senior commander. They also end the turn as well with the three. So they can uh, pour more fire into the Japanese at this point. So the junior leader, I'm getting the team here again to try to wipe out that Japanese section over there, or at least break them. So four fives and sixes. They could have fired at the other Japanese section behind them, but it would turn. They would have to turn, and then that would reduce their dice. So they are doing this instead. <clears throat> so that's a few hits, and then the SNGs, fives and sixes. So that's one hit, and again, that's a miss. So we're on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That seems to be the average number. 6 is kill. And uh, 5 is shock. So 1 kill, 1 shock. So there's no junior leaders in there, so it's just another rifleman. And then on this side of the table, these guys are plugging away again uh, at the same unit. So let's just see what they do. 4, 5, 6 is a hit. They really stop this dead in its tracks. So look, one, two, I thought this was going to be a short game, but it really has gone the, the way of the Australians at this point. So even if they lose, they're, they're losing well. Uh, so that's two, four, six, eight hits. Uh, the SMG, uh, both missed. He can re-roll one, so he will. It's a miss. You need a five and sixes. These are in light cover. Six is kills. Everything, uh, five is shock. So we're on... Uh, sorry, four five is shock because they're light cover. So that's actually a lot of shock. So that's five shock on top of what they already have. So that means I uh, don't think they're broken just yet. So they've currently got uh, 13 shock. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in there. So they're not broken yet, but they are pinned. Right, we're on to the Australians' turn again. <clears throat> so we've got they're retaining the phase, so they get another phase out of this. God, they are going to hammer these Japanese. Uh, two senior leaders and a team. So, same again, really. 
Right, using the one, the Australians have brought in a medical orderly to come and try and patch up uh, Sergeant Thompson here. Uh, he can only do that when he's activated, so he can't do it this turn. He's, he's arrived, but if he gets activated in the future, he can get rid of that wound on the Sergeant. Meanwhile, the Sergeant is firing again on all cylinders at the Japanese in the jungle. So, four, five, six is a hit. We've been through this a few times. Let's have a look. So, that's five hits. Their SMG this time is one hit and a miss. They can re-roll that miss. So that's a miss as well. They need fives and, fives and sixes for the SMG. So we now have six hits, <clears throat> sixes are kills, five is shock because they're in heavy cover. So that is two more shock and another kill. So that's that team off there. And uh, we said two more shock. So that I think has broken that team. So they're going to retreat, first of all, but they also have to roll on the bad things happen table as well. Because they're Japanese, they do get to have a minus one on that table. So we'll just roll it and see what we get. <clears throat> Four uh, becomes a three, and this is it, uh, a section breaks. Uh, Four, a three is minus another two points of their force morale. So they're now <coughs> down to seven. The remainder of that remainder of that unit will retreat six d six plus, uh, sorry, six inch plus two d six inches, so nine inches away. So they are going to head back, jump into that jungle over there. But that has broken them. Uh, if they don't recover, and the turn ends, they will uh, be completely destroyed and off the table. Well, that's pretty poor, pretty bad going there for the Japanese. And meanwhile over here, the other senior leader is uh, firing at Asquith. Lieutenant Asquith is firing again at the Japanese over here. Let's see what happens with these. Uh, we're looking at four, fives and sixes to hit. So let's just pull those out. And there we go, that's a good number. So that's six, seven, eight. Eight hits. And then their SMG, fives and sixes. No. Second one, no. They get to re-roll one, no. So we're on eight hits. These are in light cover. So again, six is a kill, four, five is shock. So we've got one kill and three more shock on those there. So that's mounting up. Let's just work this out. So we've got, that takes them up to uh, 16 shock now. With one kill, let's see if it's their junior leader who has already taken a wound anyway. Uh, no, it's not. So it's one of the other infantry, so they're off. So they now have 10 men in there, 16 shock. So they haven't broken yet, but four more shock will see them break. Or well, five more shock, it has to be more, double or more at the moment. So God, they, they've got very close to that edge, they're literally an inch away. They just need to move forward one inch and they could finish the game, but they're just, they're just getting bogged down completely. So for the Australians, this has turned into an absolutely heroic defence at this point. Uh, let's just see what they get for their next one. And they retain the phase again. So they get another turn. Uh, they are literally pouring fire into the Japanese. They've got two threes, that's two junior leaders, and a senior leader. Exactly what they need. Okay, so we use a junior leader activation to activate the medical orderly. He's healed uh, Sergeant Thompson. Uh, you can activate them on a 1 to a 4, I believe. If not, we, we can do. Uh, and then they've used their junior leader to move this, uh, activate this team, to turn them around this section, to turn them around and fire at the Japanese section as they come through the woods. Because they've moved, they're halving their fire. So they had 12, that's come down to 6. Uh, it might not do much this turn, but at least I'll get another shot of them, hopefully next turn anyway. So let's have a look. Uh, sixes, four, fives and sixes are hits. So that's only two hits. Uh, sixes are kills, the Japanese are in heavy cover. Six are kills, five is shock. Uh, so neither. So the Japanese have survived, but the Australians are at least facing at them correctly now. And then the senior leader, same again, lieutenant. Uh... Asquith is going to get these guys here to fire. Four, five, sixes. Uh, looks like quite a good number of them there. 
it is, isn't it? So that's four, eight, nine in total. Let's roll in those SMGs or SMG. One on. So that's another hit and a re-roll. So that's another hit as well. So that's actually 11 hits. Again, we're looking at sixes to kill. Four, five is shock. Uh, these may break this turn. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's probably going to do it. Let's just get rid of what isn't anything. So the threes are out. What we're looking at, we've got three kills, four shock. So first of all, let's see if our junior leader is amongst those killed. Yeah, well, he's hit. A one, he's killed. Uh, two or three, he is uh, injured for the rest of the turn. Four or more, he takes another hit. So he's killed anyway. So if they get two or three, he's okay. Six, so he's out. So that's another bad things happen roll straight away. Uh, so that means we have two more kills as well on the rest of the squad. Let's just place those on so we know. So we're keeping track. One and two. And then on top of this we also have our four shock. So these are currently now on 20 shock. Blimey. Which... They have six, seven figures left in that unit, so that is them broken. So that's going to be another roll on the bad things happen table. And then they're going to have to retreat as well. So let's do these bad things happen rolls. So first of all, for the junior leader being killed, uh, he... Uh, minus one again because they're Japanese. One, zero, it doesn't affect them. However, they have broken. Section breaks. Uh, minus one again, six becomes a five, so that's minus another two points on the Japanese force morale. They're now down to five. God, they, <laughs> they were so close to winning this. Um, and then they will retreat 2d6 plus six inches back. So that's four, so they will now fall back ten inches. So all that time it took them to get across that marsh. They've literally just fallen back to there. Well, if somebody doesn't get something for this, some kind of medal, then there's, a, this is good, there's going to be an issue here, I think. Okay, so that's really forced them back. Okay, so we've got the Australians. What they could do is use a chain of command dice to either ambush, perhaps, or uh, end the turn. Let's roll the dice, see what happens, because it may end the turn anyway. If they get three sixes, they'll end the turn. So let's have a look. Uh, that one there is cocked, so I'm just going to re roll that. But we've got a one, a two, a one, and a five. So they've got at least one chain of command dice. Anyway, so let's just see what this, the last one was. So that's a six. So that was nothing anyway. So they've got uh, <coughs> uh, two, two, uh, two ones and a two. Ooh, it's a bit of a spread, but they might be able to bring something on, and, and uh, they might be able to bring on their boys' anti-tank rifle and and at least fire at that tank. Let's have a think about what they can do. Okay, so the Australians have brought on their anti-tank team. Uh, the boys on the tank and then their junior leader over here is getting them to fire at this section over here and then they're going to end the turn and that will wipe out two of the Japanese sections or at least get rid of them off the table. So let's just see if we are able to hit first of all. Uh, that that dice got cocked and I wasn't sure what it was so I'll just re-roll it. So we've got It's wise. Uh, four, six, eight hits. These are in heavy cover because they're in the jungle. Six is a kill. Five is shock. So that's two kills. No shock. Let's see if it's their junior leader. One or two it is. No, it's not. So it's two normal rifles. So after all those turns, it's finally the Japanese again. So let's see. Six is doing nothing. They've got two twos and two ones. 
that's not great but at least it means they can get their tank moving and probably their section as well to try to get them through the jungle so that's probably what they're going to do convert these into two threes uh, the Australians ended the turn as well with their chain of command dice so the Japanese have lost two of their their sections or the remains of two of their sections anyway so they've only got the one section and the tank at the moment on the table so all the Japanese have done push the tank a little further down the road and also the section over you know, on the other side of the table as well they've managed to move one inch forward so we're straight back onto the Australians turn they have closed down that jumping off point of the Australians though because they're within four inch of it but they haven't captured it yet uh, so over to the Australians right the Australians have got two five so that's another two chain of command points so that takes it up to uh, five points now and senior leader a two and a one so they could convert those into junior leaders or into teams let's have a think about what they want to do with those right so Lieutenant Asquith is shouting the order to fire at the Japanese sergeants in the jungle over there uh, only a kill will affect him if he's hit uh, hit on four fives and sixes let me just check the range actually, it might be over 18 inch at this point. No, it's just in 18 inch. So, four fives and sixes are hits. This is an attempt to reduce the Japanese morale even further. So, we've got one, two. <laughs> this is probably their best score of the entire game, and it's on one man. So, yeah, so they take five, eight, nine, ten, twelve hits on him. So, we need sixes. And let's see what happens. Uh, not a single one. So all that fire and they couldn't hit a barn door. Uh, so the shock doesn't affect him. So that's it. me. And their junior leader over here is directing fire against this section again. So we're looking at four, five, sixes to hit. Uh, let's take our misses out. So that's quite a few. The submachine guns out of range at this point so that's seven hits six is a kills five is shock so we're looking at uh, three shock and two kills so can take those out and we just put the shock on there's three shock and two kills let's see if it's their junior leader uh, he's hit a one is killed no four he is wounded I think that might be Roll on a bad table, on bad things happen table. I've forgotten to do it previously, but they take another casualty as well. So take him off first of all. Yeah, junior leader would is a bad things happen. I've forgotten to do it on others, but never mind, we'll do it now. So minus one because they're Japanese. One becomes zero, so no effect anyway. So our Japanese are back up. <clears throat> and they have got uh, senior leader, uh, junior leader, Two, two, another junior leader. So actually, that's that's a pretty good spread for what they need at the moment. They're going to be doing a lot of moving this turn, I think, rather than anything else. The Type 95 has barreled down the road, but unfortunately, it's got into range of the boys' anti-tank rifle now. However, uh, the Australians are going to have to roll to see if they can actually use it. Uh, the the uh, the Japanese section tried to move forward, but they they were just too bogged down with their being in the jungle and also uh, with their shock as well so that's as much as the Japanese have done this turn so being back with the Japanese uh, the Australians sorry we're looking to get uh, that boys anti-tank rifle firing at least so let's just see what we've got two sixes they retained the phase anyway so that is good for them uh, they've got a three and two ones so they've got a team which is what they needed and they can convert that into perhaps a senior leader or even use it to the junior leader. Right, so the Australians have uh, activated their boys team. They're firing. They start with a five, but because the tank moved flat out last turn, they get a minus one on that hit. So six or above to hit on 2d6. Oh, five, that's a miss. So I'll just get rid of these dice. Uh, not great that, lads, but you know, at least it's right. And meanwhile over here, the senior commander is getting this unit to fire again at the Japanese over here. So let's see what happens with that. Four, fives and sixes. Let's see if they can do better than the boys' anti-tank rifle. Uh, so 
Let's take all those out. So that is six hits. They're in heavy cover. Six of the kills, five is shock. So that's just one kill. Well, let's see who it is, if it's the junior leader. Uh, no, it's not. So it's one of the rifles. So Australians retain the phase again. They're looking, hopefully, to get another team in at least. So they can fire. They've got one, so that's good. So now they've got two chain of command points here. So that takes them up to seven. One full chain of command. And another one there. Then they've also got... Oh, sorry, that's three chain of command points. Bad calculation on my part. There you go, seven, uh, seven instead. Uh, so they've got a senior leader and a, sec uh, a team. So basically that's going to be the same as the previous turn. Right, so first of all, we've got the anti-tank gun. It is firing. It needs a five or above this time because the tank didn't move in the previous turn, in the previous phase. So uh, five or above, 2d6, that's a hit. Right, the strike value of the uh, boys is three. The defense value of the 95 is two. So they need four fives or sixes because they're firing in the side of it. So that's one effect. The Japanese tank will defend on a six. Let's just pull that to one side so we know it's a six. Uh, they need a five or a six to defend against those. So let's just see what happens. Uh, they've defended one, so that's equal effect. So we have to roll again, see what happens. It's a one, no effect. So at least they fired and they hit it, but not done anything, unfortunately. And meanwhile, our, our uh, Australian senior leader over here is firing again with these guys. So let's just see what we get. That's a healthy number of hits. So we're on five hits, six is our kills, five is our shock. So this time only one kill. But let's see if it's their junior leader. It is their junior leader. If they get a two or a three, he's not killed. He's not killed, he's just taken out for the rest of the turn. So he can't actually do anything. So I'm just going to put that on for a minute. And that's it. Just before I go any further, uh, I realised I didn't do the bad things happen roll for the junior leader being wounded by the Japanese, so let's just see. Uh, 4 minus 1 is 3, junior leader wounded is minus 1 point, so they're now down to 4. Oh, it's getting bad for the Japanese now. So now the Japanese have reduced their number of dice, they're rolling 4 instead of 5. And let's see what we've got here, we've got a 5, gives them a chain of command point. Six on its own does nothing. A three junior leader and his senior commander. In this turn, the Japanese pushed forward their Hago tank. It is literally on the edge of the board again. Uh, if the boy's anti-tank rifle can stop it, the game is going to be over as soon as it activates again, to be honest. But let's just see what happens with the Australians. See if they can put a, a shot up its backside. So, Australians, they have... Uh, Senior commander, junior commander, twos and a section, which is not great, but they might be able to get their uh, commander to get that boy to do something. Okay, so using the one of the senior commander, the uh, lieutenant tried to get his section to move, but they were bogged down in the jungle. The junior commander, junior leader, is firing with his section here against the Japanese again and then the sergeant uh, Thompson has basically run across to the boys anti-tank team and is instructing them to fire into the rear of the Hago so let's do the firing first for these they need four five sixes to hit that's a lot of hits again god that is a lot um, <clears throat> so that's we've got eight hits there and send again, six of the kills, four or five is shock. Uh, sorry, five is shock because they're in heavy cover. So let's just get rid of those. So they've got one more shock, so let's just put that on there. So that takes them up to four. And that's two kills. So let's see if one of those is the junior commander, junior leader. No, it's not. It's two more normal rifles there. 
so they're not yet broken. Uh, they've got seven men left and they're currently on four shock. But over here we've got this. Now that has moved, however they are being commanded by a senior commander so they get a plus one for that but minus one because it moved. So they need a five or a six to hit. Uh, sorry, five or above to hit. So they have had just hit. Now the boys anti-tank is firing with uh, a, a strike of three. And because they're firing in the rear now, it's a three, four, five, or a six is a point of damage. Not a single one. But let's see what happens. Uh, that's zero net hit so far. But let's see if they defend against that uh, on a five or a six. Uh, yes, they do. So there's actually nothing has happened there. They're so close. So we're back with the Japanese. They have... Junior leader, section, section, section. Well, they've got their junior leader in the tank, so they're going to use that tank to drive as fast forward as possible, so I may as well just roll it here. They're bowling 3d6, each one gets plus one. That's it, They, the Japanese have won this game. So with that amount of movement that the Japanese have just rolled, they managed to get that tank off the table edge right on the very end and finish the game because all they needed to do was get one unit uh, or one team or section off the edge of the Australians board and they just did it. So the situation at the end of the game, the Japanese if you remember they tried to push through this open area of marsh in the first place from their jumping off points over here. They got within one inch of the edge of the board uh, but were unable to get any further than that and then got smashed up by the Australians who were just there behind the the woods. Meanwhile over here we've got the boys anti-tank rifle which was firing shot after shot at the Hago as that was disappearing into the midst. All he needed to do was get off the board. These guys over here uh, under Sergeant Thompson uh, absolutely hammered the Japanese who were in these woods who were then forced back to this point and then they disappeared when the turn em ended and they also poured a lot of fire onto this Japanese unit over here so the Japanese attack has been absolutely smashed up but it is strangely enough a Japanese uh, victory because they've managed to get their unit off the table edge of the back end. This has probably been the most exciting and nail-biting game of chain of command that I think I've played. Uh, the fact that the Japanese were so close in so many times of getting off the edge and the, and the, the tank just took so many hits from the boys anti-tank rifle. I mean, we, if we're handing out awards, and I think there will be some awards handed out, um, Lieutenant uh, Asquith over here, he is definitely getting at least a mention in dispatches for uh, his defence of this point uh, to force the Japanese back, and Sergeant Thompson may well be up for at least a Distinguished Service Medal uh, for his actions here in trying to stop these Japanese tanks and destroying the Japanese infantry over here as well. So although they've lost the Australians and they're going to have to fall back uh, to their next position, they, well, you know, they they're taking, they can, they, they, it's a pyrrhic victory on on the Japanese point of view because they had so many losses. All right, well, thanks for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it, this game as much as I enjoy playing it. I thought this would be over in at least in two moves, to be honest, from when I started. Uh, I really thought this was going to be a very simple Japanese victory and I thought it was going to actually take me longer to set this board up than it would to play. It's turned out this has actually gone on for ages and has been one of the most exciting games I've ever played of Chain of Command. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. There's going to be more of this coming in the future, definitely. Uh, so just stay tuned and if you haven't already, please do subscribe and uh, give me a like and give me a comment. Thanks for watching.